And now sports with Matt Barine. It's been 202 days since that heartbreaking AFC Championship loss for the Chiefs, but today a campaign of retribution began at Arrowhead. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs retaking that same field with sights set on a Super Bowl trip. Plenty of new storylines, including our first glance at the new drum deck at Arrowhead, but the biggest offseason changes have come on def defense under new coordinator Steve Spagnuolo. Opening drive, Andy Dalton for the Bengals looking to the end zone. Rashad Breland is beat, but he works his way back to break it up, keeping us scoreless. Not for long, though. A few plays later, Travion Williams gets the call for Cincinnati. He punches it in from one out. Bengals open the game with a 14-play, 75-yard drive, including three third-down conversions. So the defense still needing some work, but what about the MVP? First drive, first play, mid-season form. Patrick Mahomes hits Travis Kelsey for 33 yards out of the gate. They work their way down to the goal line, and Mahomes is going to try and take it himself, scrambling out of the pocket toward the sideline, faking his way inside. He can see the end zone, but opts for the slide, much to the relief of Chiefs Kingdom, even shooting a smile and a thumbs up to the coaches. See, I did good, right, Andy? Let Carlos Hyde finish the job. He punches it in to tie the game. That did it for Mahomes. One drive, four for four passing for 66 total yards. Now, besides Mahomes and defense, the third big storyline was rookies. And McCole Hardman continues to stand out. Here, the shuffle pass from Kyle Shermer and the speedy Georgia alum does the rest. 17 yards to the house and a well-deserved nap in the end zone. Chiefs win 38-17. During the game, Mahomes talked about expectations for the coming year. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of experience last year. I mean, we, we played in a lot of big games. We won some, we lost some. And so when you when you learn from those games, you see what you got to do to to be a great football team. And so for us this year, it's all about just taking that next step. It's all about going out every single day and, and doing whatever it takes to, to find a way to win the game on Sunday. And so I'm excited for the, uh, the season coming ahead. The guys have their head on the right way, and we're going to go out there and fight every single week. Now, while the excitement at Hammonds peaked with the arrival of Yadier Molina, anticipation in St. Louis continues to build for his return. Molina, however, is here until Sunday night, but much like the Arch City fans, he's itching to rejoin his Cardinals and the Bigs. I can't wait, but at the same time, I gotta get, get the tone right. I'm, I'm trying to get in baseball shape. Um, right now, I'm, I'm in good shape. I'm in good weight. So hopefully soon I can go back and help the team. So still working to reach that healthy point in his third Springfield appearance tonight, helping out Evan Krasinski on the mound. Second inning, the duo with a pair of strikeouts in the frame. Krasinski with 11 Ks overall, just one earned run. Cardinal Bats backed him up early as well. Bottom second, no score. Brian O'Keefe opening his account with a deep solo shot to left field over the kids and into the trees. His 12th home run of the year puts the birds up 1-0. Then in the fourth, Lars Newtbar joins in on the fun. He grounds into a fielder's choice, but a throwing air has everyone safe, including O'Keefe at home. Molina adding a sack fly in the seventh as Springfield tops Arkansas 3-2. Meanwhile, in the majors, Adam Wainwright starting for St. Louis against the Pirates. And if you're drawing up the worst way to start a game, a first pitch home run is probably a leading candidate. Adam Frazier into the right field bullpen for an early 1-0 Pirate lead. Jump to the sixth. It's 1-1 now. Tommy Edmond coming through big, knocking one to deep right center. He's going to get to second easily. Newman at short decides to throw to third, but the ball gets passed and goes all the way to the dugout. A little league home run for Edmond for a 2-1 lead and they go on to win it 3-1. Royals also in action, continuing their series in Detroit. Both teams were honoring the Negro League. Top fourth no score, Jorge Soler taking one to deep center and gone. A two-run shot putting KC up 2-0. Jump to the seventh, same score. Valoria grounded right back to Soto, who eventually crowds it but throws it away. A lot of errors tonight, but both Soler and Bubba Starling take advantage. They score on the air. That doubles the lead to 4-0. And in the eighth, just for good measure, Hunter Dozier, a triple to deep center. That scores Merrifield as the Royals top the Tigers 7-0. And for our final story, no, you're not imagining things. That is a basketball right there. And you're not wrong. It's here earlier than normal. That's because the Jury Lady Panthers are hitting the court a little earlier than normal. Just today, the team touched down in Ottawa, Canada, ahead of some Maple Leaf basketball action. The Lady Panthers playing four games in Canada over the next few days, two in Ottawa, then two in Montreal. It's all part of an international exhibition trip. Coach Molly Miller says the poutine in practice will give the team a valuable head start. 
It's, it's fun because we get to kind of experience um, practice and a little bit of competition before it counts and season comes along. So to have our kids on campus early, it's kind of been a, a little bit more laid back. So we're only going a couple hours and uh, it's, it's been some fun drills, but it's nice just to kind of relax and get to know one another. We've got.